Testis is the rounded structure that produces sperm and testosterone. It lies in a pouch called scrotum and it is lined by epididymis. The duct joining the testis is called as vas deferens. In front of the testis lies the penis, through which urethra passes. It is connected superiorly to the urinary bladder and helps in passing the urethra. If we look at the testis in detail, it is lined by an inner layer that is called as tunica albuginea and an outer one called as tunica vaginalis. At the upper part is epididymis, which joins the vas deferens superiorly. This covering outside the testis is called as spermatic cord. It is composed of three layers, internal and external spermatic fascia and cremasteric muscle. And this outermost pouch-like covering that holds both the testes is called a scrotum. Now we come to the staging for testicular tumors. It can be divided into three stages. Stage 1 includes patients with the disease limited to the testes. It may be T1 to T4 depending upon the extent of the testicular involvement, as we have discussed previously. In this stage, the disease has not spread outside the testes, that is, it is N0 and M0. Also, the serum tumor markers are normal, that is S0. Rarely, the tumor markers may be elevated in stage 1 when it is called as stage 1S. So, stage 1 is the disease which is limited to the testes without any spread elsewhere, with serum tumor markers normal, except in 1S. Stage 2 includes patients with the disease limited to the testes and the regional lymph nodes. But there is no spread of the disease to the non-regional lymph nodes or any other organs. The markers may be S0 or S1. As you can see in the figure, stage 2 has the disease limited to the testes and the regional or the retroperitoneal lymph nodes. Without any spread of the disease elsewhere, the markers may be normal or they might be elevated, that is S0 or S1. It may be stage 2A, 2B or 2C, depending upon whether the lymph nodes are N1, N2 or N3 respectively according to the size and number of lymph nodes. Stage 3 includes patients with the disease spread to the non-regional lymph nodes or other organs that is M1A or M1B or those patients who have markers highly elevated that is S2 or S3. For example, mediastinal lymph node involvement or supraclavicular lymph node involvement or involvement of inguinal lymph nodes. Stage 3 also includes patients with spread to the lungs or pulmonary metastasis, spread to the liver or spread to brain or bones as diagnosed on MRI brain or bone scan. Also, regional or retroperitoneal lymph node involvement with markers highly elevated that is in S2 or S3 range also comes under stage 3. So with this we finish the staging for testicular cancers.